Hello and welcome, friends, fans, or anyone else interested in dinos. I got something special for you today. It is the first in a featured series. I'll be highlighting a whole bunch of different dino decks, and I chose Boros as the first one. Now, it's been doing pretty good. I haven't played it a whole lot in the past, but this is actually uh, it's pretty nice, pretty fast. You can play quite a few things, and fairly consistent for sure. There's lots of stuff going on in the early game. One of the big points about the deck is all the cost reduction. Even with big stuff, um, you can get it down pretty reliably. Uh, as always, the deck list for this will be in the comments. First off, we got Kinjali's Collar. Fantastic turn one play. Riding Raptor, as always, great. Otepec Huntmaster, doing good work. Now, one thing with Boros Dinos, at least this list, is it gets a little awkward on turn two. If you have Kinjali's Collar, Marauding Raptor, and Otepec Huntmaster, because chances are on turn two, after playing Kinjali's Collar, you're going to want to be playing Marauding Raptor for one, but then that lets you not play Otepec Huntmaster anymore. Um, you could go Kinjali's Collar, Marauding Raptor on turn two, followed up by something like Rampaging Ferocidon or Kinjali Sunwing. Now, that's pretty decent line of play. You got some good stuff out, especially getting that Rampaging Ferocidon out on turn two can be quite important against life gain, as you're going to see in the example episode coming up after this. But yeah, that's just something to definitely keep in mind if you try out this list. The little bit of awkwardness between those two cards. Uh, otherwise, it's not actually too bad. I mean, that doesn't come up all too often, getting all three at once. Um, but it is a lot of cost reduction, along with Harold's Horn for a fourth card of cost reduction and some card advantage, hopefully. There is quite a few dinos in the deck, so you should be able to hit stuff pretty often. Um, and of course, being an artifact, it's easy to play. And definitely something I'd try out. I may take it out uh, later on, but... I looked for something that is good in multiples, and this is definitely something, it feels like it fits pretty good in this deck for sure. Um, yeah, then we got, like you saw, Kanjali Sunwing. It's great for stopping some of the combo decks. Neostorm, it does slow down a little bit, possibly enough that you can get a game-winning swing in next turn with everything tapped. Uh, rampaging for Asadon, shut down the life gain, token strategies, uh, charging monster soar, uh, great all around card. It does make good use of all the cost reduction, um, needing four and a red. Uh, Itali Primal Storm can be pretty good, hit or miss of course, because you're just going off the top card. Uh, could be interesting with Harold's Horn uh, looking at the top. Now, if it's a creature card, you can reveal it and put it into your hand, but you could leave it on the top, which is uh, pretty interesting. As you see, it says you may reveal it and put it into your hand. So if it's a big creature you want to play, just leave it on top, Swing with a tally, and bam, you get uh, you get Zatalpa, you get Yadaro. You really get uh, whatever you want. So that can be a nice little trick. Harold's Horn and a tally Primal Storm. So something to keep in mind. Nice little combo. Then, of course, Yadaro, Wandering Monster. 
nice turn to play in a pinch if you cycle it. Um, great body all around, makes good use of cost reduction again. And now, finally, Zetalpa, Primal Dawn. I've always wanted to use this uh, in some way. It's probably too expensive to be super serious, but I think if you get it down, it's going to be pretty difficult, of course, with indestructible, hard to remove, and great threat. And I'm happy to use it. Land-wise, I'm going with 22. Um, there is so much cost reduction. Uh, 22 lands does feel pretty good. Uh, two plains, two mountain. Uh, the land base, the rest of it is pretty expensive. Uh, lots of rares. But it's all quite consistent. Unclaimed territory definitely helps. Uh, plays the Taupa, Yadaro, Atali. Um, yeah, overall, it's it's pretty wild card intensive, and but I think you'll enjoy it. You'll see it does pretty good, and it's definitely a great variation. I'm happy to add to my repertoire. All right, let's get into some gameplay. Yelling. All right, we got a game example for you guys versus some Coco Angels. Now it's become pretty popular in Kaldheim, so you may have faced it already. You may face it in the future. Um, I definitely say there's a good chance of that happening, but for Boros, this is a great highlight of rampaging for Asadon and especially chaining multiple cost reducers to play quite a few dinos in one turn really stick it to anything focused on life gain drawing that marauding raptor was just perfect finished off everything quite nicely next turn we're going to chain marauding raptor Rampaging, Ferocidon, and Kinjali Sunwing. Now, the first two are pretty important in this matchup. Kinjali Sunwing a little bit as well because of Coco and sometimes them being able to play quite a few creatures in one turn. Coming into play tapped could leave, well, any deck that plays a lot of creatures, um, it could leave them open enough that you get in a game-winning swing but it's also great against stuff like neostorm uh, or goblins that barf out a lot of stuff in a single turn um, really helps protect especially with neostorm um, they won't be able to swing and chances are you can put out enough power next turn uh, possibly Sometimes it takes a while for Neostorm to get going. They don't always get that turn four combo off. Um, maybe they just get unlucky with their draws, but Kajali Sunwing is good against that. And yeah, as you can see, Rampaging Ferocidon is doing some great work. I'm not sure if they misplayed there. I feel like they may have. Uh, they really should have hit Rampaging for Ossidon because uh, that's just shutting down a big part of their plan for sure. They're probably realizing their mistake right now. Then there's Collected Company. I think Angels, uh, some variation of Angels are 
here to stay for sure. There's quite a bit of support, and I could see them printing angels in future sets uh, coming up soon for sure. It's a pretty popular creature type, even if you know they get one here or there, maybe like a core set sort of thing. And there we go.